Hey there, this is Landis Enchanted Sky, your spiritual fairy godmother, bringing you your reading for what you need to know for Pisces for August 2024. Please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading, hypnosis, whatever I do. Please also visit EnchantedSky.com. You can book a reading there. Also, um, we're going to Sedona. So if you are interested in Sedona, then please... You know what that is. So this is your reading, and I'm going to tell you what. You have something from your past coming. Now, you want to know, this for crossing you for, for good or for bad, this is this is positive. This is, um, it's home and family, success in home and family. And crossing you is something from your past. So there is a new beginning. So there, this is something from, that has not either been, you're going to be accessing. So this is a, an old a relationship. It is an old, an old talent, an old job, an old place you've lived. It's something from your past, okay? So I want you to understand that. Now, it all has to do with collaboration and healing. You know, throughout the month, I, I'm getting this for a lot of people, and this can be, actually can mean a vacation um, or a downtime where you're just thinking and things are going to happen. All they know is that this month something's going to be brought to you you're going to love. And it's going to be written. So something's going to be written. Now remember to be careful. We're in Mercury in retrograde. So be careful of anything you say or do. Be careful of any arguments, um, paperwork. and But this is going to be written. Something's coming to you. Now, if, if it were me, and it, we, will, we won't be out of Mercury in retrograde until I think the middle of September. Do not hold me. It's, it's, it's in September, though. Um, just be careful. Just be careful of everything you say and do. Okay? This is what I have found. That your, if your Mercury in retrograde is in your sign, so like if it were Sag, and I'm a Sag, right? It's either really good or really bad. Like There's no in between with that. So just be careful, okay, that... If it's in one of your signs, it's in your sun, moon, or rising, just be careful, okay? But I've seen it to be very good or very bad. Neither it's any, either, neither, nor, okay? Now, you have been, this is success with hard work, but this is lack of getting together or lack of taking initiative a little bit. Um, so they're warning you to take some initiative. So there is an offer. There is a new start. There's an ending of something with the beginning of a new. So I want you to be thinking about it. And it is something that you want really bad. Something you really, really want. This is a wish. This is also healing. I find it interesting. I'm getting healing cards. So this might be emo this might be emotional healing or spiritual healing involved also. Okay? Now, this is you standing your ground, working hard. That's the destiny. You're going to have to do hard work. And it's good. you're going to come up with an idea or... A way to solve your issues. I always say, this. you're coming up with a scheme. I got somebody that one time said, that's not the right word. Yeah, it is. You're scheming. You're trying to figure out. The scheming doesn't always have a bad connotation. So it, you're coming up with an idea. It's like a, something to get you, get you where you want to be. You're manifesting this. You know that you are. This is you taking the bull by the horns, having all the skills you need and manifesting what you want. This is the uh, the first card of manifestation, okay? Now, there's also a king of pentacles. And the king of pentacles here could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but it could be you. It could be you making money. Now, I do want to say that you have a new start coming, but like, see, look at things aren't getting going quite as fast. So maybe they're going to take a little time also to get going, all right? All they know is that this is something you have either been working on. It's from your past. Maybe you, it was a project you put to the side, okay? And now all of a sudden, it's it's going. And all of a sudden, all the people, all the players are in place. It's also you taking initiative a little bit also. So you remember that. Now I'm going to show you the cards, okay, and how they lay, all right? So this is your, your question. This is success from your past. This is written. So there's a contract of something. There's something that's going to be brought to you. You're going to love it. So what you have been wanting, and it's all new. So this is a new thing. It's just been, you've been, it, this is in your wheelhouse. This is like things, you know, it, you can't get it going. Or 
you've been having bad luck, or at least it's the ending of bad luck. Because here comes that King of Pentacles. And here's that wish granted. Okay? This is my angel deck. You guys know that how I feel about angels. They work. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you've ever, you have trouble, invoke an angel. Don't pray to them. You don't pray to them. You invoke them. That means you say, I need your help because that is what they are created for. I swear it works. I swear it works. Okay? Um, so look at the angel of beliefs. You got to believe in yourself. You got to believe in yourself. You can do this. And that's part of that manifestation thing. Okay? The angel of dreams. It may come, some of this may come to your, you're a Pisces. It may come to you in dreams, okay? The clarity is coming for what you need to be doing. So just be patient. And you are going to be so happy. <laughs> you're going to be so happy. I'm telling you, this is a, this is a wish fulfilled. And it feels like it's been coming for a long time. All right? Blessings to you. Make it a great day. And how can you make the planet a better place?